I really wanted to work with him so bad. Like every time I get in the interview, they say, Who you wanna do a song? I'm like, Tyler Creator. Manifestation be real. Like I just kept saying it and then finally he called me and was like, I love your voice. I need your voice on this song I got. Manifestation really is real. I, I believe in that's that. True. Yeah. I, I spoke heard. everything into existence. Facts. Cause I didn't talk to some like male rappers like when I was coming up. And they'll be like, everything you rap about, it'll come true. Yeah. It's like your reality catches up to yeah, it your words. <laughs> Okay, manifestation. Um, it's starting to be a trend. A lot of people. I mean, I remember Usher said it. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, with yeah. the whole Super Bowl thing, yeah. and like a lot of people are talking about how to visualize. He got a thing visualization. Out of visualization. Yeah. You hear a lot in sports. Um, manifestation, speaking things into existence. It's kind of borrowing from a biblical like the idea, yeah. yeah. But it's kind of being used kind of willy nilly. Yeah. So what what's what is your thoughts on manifestation? Mm, um. Ah, it's uh, I think it's an ex extreme thought of life and definite power to tongue, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know, you yeah. you can speak life, you can speak life, or you can speak death. But I think you have to be really mindful of what you do say and put out there, right? Again, because you know the power is in the tongue. However, like there is a responsibility with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. It's like you're not there's certain things you're just not going to say because you don't want that to start to create a reality for that. Mm. But it's not necessarily the belief in manifestation. It's the belief in believing or having faith for what God is saying. So if you are saying something that is speaking life, you are believing in, in, in declaring it and saying, OK, God, I'm trusting that this thing is going to happen. It's like showing a sign of faith. Mm -hmm. But you're not going to say. You know, all right, God, like, I, I believe that I'm going to get this Lamborghini tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, you may, you may say sick. Like, somebody may be sick and you go, I believe God's going to heal them. God is, God is going to heal them based on what he already said and what he's already done, if, if that's so. your yeah. belief. Yeah. But I think because, you, like you said, it is taken from biblical, biblical a, a biblical text and, you know, people are using it just frivolously. You know, they're saying things that who knows if there's another God taking control of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Based on where your heart is of what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think this um this is a common misunderstanding about God. I think people start to treat God like a jinn, you know, oh, yeah. genie, genie, yeah. genie, um, which is a demon. Um, you're 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 thinking you may be getting some power from God, but there's two teams out here, guys. Like yeah. there's a there's there's God's team, and then there's another team that has power yeah, as well. Yeah. So you could speak something into existence, but who's answering your prayer? Who's fulfilling yeah, yeah. the manifestation? I think some people, like especially celebrities, when they start seeing stuff accumulate in their life and they're winning, they think yeah. that oh God is doing this or I'm doing this, yeah. and it's like. Somebody else is doing it for you <laughs> to control you. It's, yeah. it's a bribe. It's yeah. a way to grab you and use you for their service. So I wouldn't just assume just because even common people like us, like just because track stars is doing better than they used to, or just because I'm doing better on my job than I used to, or just because you got some car that you, that doesn't absolutely mean God is giving you this because this is what he wants for you. It could yeah. be a temptation. It could be a distraction. Yeah. It could be somebody mm -hmm. else giving it to you. Mm -hmm. You have to really be careful about when you say that. Yeah. Um, 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 what's my girl's name? Uh, it, it was a young lady. Um, I think I put her in a chat when she was talking about this. She, she, she broke down the difference. Her name is Melissa. Um, I, I forgot her last name, but she does apologetics. And she was in, she thought she was in New Age at first, mm -hmm. but she realized it was called New Thought. Mm. And she's saying New Thought is manifestation, uh, visualization, <laughs> and, you know, speaking into existence. That stuff is under New Thought. And that's like a lot of, she said a lot of Christians are into it. And she was like, Oprah is into it. That's mm -hmm. what I was sending. I think I sent it to y'all and I sent it to you. And she was like, the, the, the point of New Thought is to make you God. Like, yeah. and, but, but it's, it's a blind version of it. It's not like, you know how new age is like, I am God, mm -hmm. but, and new thought is more like I can, um, God is, you know, um, God is inside you. Mm -hmm. He's, you know what I mean? It's not yeah. like you still using scripture. You still, yeah, yeah. you're still talking about stuff. You're saying it's Melissa. Doherty. But it's, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mark and, and, yeah. 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 Yeah.
And I think the reason why I'm saying what, I, what I'm saying is because it's so many people want things in life. Mm -hmm. And it kind of goes back to the video we taped earlier, Sean, about, you know, your success, your, your, your blessings, your, you know what I mean? And the focus becomes um, you centered versus Jesus centered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing that people don't understand about manifestation and visual, visualization and all this other stuff. It's about like it's making you God. I'm a, I have a question for you then. <laughs> yeah. At, at the end, but um, I think uh, I think it was uh, was it blessed that said it? Um, oh, Joseph King. You you could be what you may be seeing is just normal. Uh, goal setting yeah that results, too right that too when you focus your mind and you write down where you want to be and you take the steps to get each goal accomplished you break the big goal down into smaller steps there just may be a natural benefit just a normal yeah. godly mm -hmm. principle yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. Yeah. writing stuff down and and getting yeah, stuff back yeah Put, putting putting one foot in front of the other yeah. towards a specific goal that's yeah. just a natural principple yeah. right i think where where lot i think lotto and uh specific in that video is like you're not just like I. I'm gonna have a phone in my hand, and boom, a phone appears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you start to get to that level of like, I could just make things happen because I say mm -hmm. it. That's what you're talking yeah. about. That's yeah. the I'm God, or yeah. I have some control over God. Yeah. yeah, prayer is a conversation with God. He he can he can manifest anything. Yeah, you're just saying God, if it's your will for this thing to mm -hmm. yeah. appear, yeah. if it's your will to freeze the sun in the middle of the air, if it's your will to bring fire down and and light this. Uh, dry, dry mm -hmm. sticks. You know, yeah. like we've seen in the Bible, it's a it's a request from the one who can manifest. Yeah. It's not you doing it. Yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. You're not gonna have a Lamborghini tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah. why it's always in your your will. Your will. Yeah. I don't want God. I don't want anything if you don't want it. Yeah, to yeah. Happen. yeah. yeah you know that's real. That should be the prayer. That's so real. Don't, don't let it happen. Yeah. Please don't let it happen. If you see something yeah. better for me, give me that. Yeah, yeah. And I and yeah. I think and I think sometimes people think like my even going back to the goal setting like god is a jealous god like he he doesn't want no idols in your heart and sometimes we our goals can be idols <laughs> yeah. like i said in the video like you you may your success may be so uh, you driven mm. and god is not in it but right. you think he is because you're going to church so here's the mm. christian question for you yeah is it wrong to make a vision board if it ain't from Jesus, it's wrong. <laughs> We've done that. I know. I know. Is it wrong to make a vision board? I think it is. I, I think. I think because it's 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 um, it's your ambition. It's what you want. It's what like like. I'm, and I'm not saying it's. I think the difference is well, the difference is goals. Yeah. And and um, I always heard vision and visualization kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, vision is what you yeah, see in the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I would say about the vision board thing is, if God says, like, let's say Trackstars is supposed to go to South by Southwest, right? Mm -hmm. But God is like, the church here goes, hey, y'all, we're going on a missions trip at this situation. Can you guys come? Because we really want men there yeah. to, to do it. And we're, and we're like in between like, Yo, spread the gospel or promote track stars and spread the gospel, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? So I think, I think, I really think it depends on. I'm gonna I'm hmm. ask that to the to the audience: Is making vision boards wrong? It because it could be seen two ways. It could be you trying to do what these people are doing, yeah. manifesting things into yeah. existence. You put a, like a, a Lamborghini on there, and you put like a private jet on there. Yeah. You, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or is it just a visual representation of your prayer? Yeah. These yeah, are true. my requests mm -hmm. to you, God. I'm putting it visually yeah, so I can too. remember what I said. Um, is it as simple as that where yeah. it's an innocent thing that is just a visualization of your prayer? Yeah. Did Which one say, is it to you, Gus? What's that what's that uh that phrase? <coughs> Write the vision, make it plain. Yeah, Habakkuk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, so it they, could be that, but that. again, I I, I want to know. Do you do you think cause I've heard a lot recently where people believe it's a demonic practice for Christians to make vision boards? Is it or is it not? What do you guys think? 